As if Cosmic Carnage, Metalhead, and Shadow Squadron aren't reasons enough to own a Sega 32X, here's Knuckles Chaotix from Team Sonic, a Sega 32X exclusive, which may prompt many of you to join the 32X Club. An exclusive club which has its privileges, namely bragging rights, that you have a working 32X and are therefore cooler than someone who doesn't. <laughs> Knuckles is the star of the game. He was first seen in Sonic the Hedgehog 3. He is an echidna, which is like a spiny anteater and one of the rare mammals that lays eggs just like a platypus. It's a monotreme. And if you've ever read my comic book Wind Squid, you know about Mecha Monotremata, which is a giant robotic mammal that lays eggs of destruction. Anyway, I think that's a pretty cool choice of an animal for a character. This is a spin-off to the Sonic the Hedgehog series and one that's similar in some respects, but very different in others. For one thing, in a single player mode at least, you're controlling what amounts to two players at once, who are essentially connected with a giant rubber band. You choose a character, and I've been playing as Knuckles, and one of the other characters will join you after you select them in a virtual claw machine and you work with the other character to pull off moves and tricks and go places that you could never do with just one character. It takes a long time to master the controls in this game, and I haven't even come close yet. Once you figure out the basics, it's actually quite easy to play, and this is probably more straightforward than some of the other Sonic games. But to really get into it, you'll have to explore some massive levels, and also kick ass in the 3D running and falling sections. Look familiar? We're going for some Chaos Rings! This is another one of these games that shows the power that the ill-fated Sega 32X adapter for the Sega Genesis actually possessed. It's a beautiful 2D side-scrolling adventure game with some fluid uh, 3D style sections like we see here. This game does things that the Sega Genesis by itself could simply not do. And for the most part, it keeps things traditional 2D, so it doesn't come across horribly dated like some of the early 3D attempts. For a 1995 release, it's aged perfectly. And while this is not my genre, I think that fans of the Sonic games and 2D side-scrollers will love this one, because it's so very clever, playable, and most importantly, fun. Knuckles Chaotix is fun. Knuckles Chaotix is a sizable game like the other Sonic Adventures, and it has a battery backup so that you can save your game. This particular copy was loaned to Classic Game Room by Joey in Vero Beach, Florida. So thank you very much. This is actually one of the last loaner games that you'll see on the show because it now takes over a year to get to them. So in that time, Joey, your, your game cartridge has been submerged, lit on fire, the dog uh, threw up on it twice and I spilled half a gallon of paint thinner on it, but don't sweat it, it's in mint condition. Oh, and I erased all of your save game data. I'm just kidding. In fact, I didn't even save my game because I didn't want to erase any of your save game data. Joey apparently won the game several times, so it's just fine, although, well, oh, damn it, it is sitting on a giant electromagnet right now. You play the game using the D-pad and three of the buttons on the Genesis controller. One button jumps, the other will hold your other character in place, and the A button calls that character if you happen to lose them somewhere, at the cost of ten rings. Each of the characters does something different, Knuckles can climb, and I should note that you can also play this as a two-player game together, although I was not able to try that for this review. You won't find this one on the Sonic's Ultimate Collection for 360 or PS3. I think it may have a PC release, but if you've already got the Sonic games and own a Sega Genesis, 
Knuckles Chaotix may push you over the edge to make that 32x investment. And you can watch my 32x review, the big thing to remember with that is to get all of the cables required to play it. The power adapters aren't hard to find, it uses the same power adapter as the Model 2 Genesis. But if you're using a Model 1 Genesis in particular, the wire to connect the 32X is difficult to come by. The Knuckles Chaotix game is not that hard to find on eBay, and if you like what you see on screen, it's, it's actually even more fun to play because the control mechanics, playing as one character attached to another one, are really cool and make for a very interesting 2D side-scrolling adventure. So thanks again to Joey, and Knuckles Chaotix is yet another reason that I'd like Sega to just re-release a new Genesis that also plays 32X and Sega CD games all at once for those of us with massive collections of Sega titles. It would really cut back on the number of power adapters required. Or at least just put it on 360, PC, PS3, and Wii. Knuckles Chaotix. Chaotix.